This almost $50 million mega mansion sits on what's known as Billionaire's Row in the ritzy beachside town of Manalapan, Florida, where it commands 315 feet of Florida's most sought after Gold Coast. The views of the Atlantic Ocean are magnificent, but what you may find even more impressive is the secret treasure you can't see buried under the sumptuous estate's front lawn. More on that later. First, we take you inside the nearly 40,000 square feet of contemporary opulence, where a supersized living room delivers breathtaking views from 30-foot tall windows. If you can peel yourself away from the vista in every room, the next thing you'll notice is a ubiquitous spirit that defines the decor, namely tequila, made by the top shelf producer, Patron. You'll find Patron bottles on the bars painted on the walls, and even in almost all 16 bathrooms, where the distinctive glass is filled with mouthwash. The couple that lives here has good reason to be tequila obsessed. They are Patron's high-powered CEO, Ed Brown, and his wife Ashley, a former fitness model and one-time Patron girl. They bought the Ocean Oasis first as an investment, but they liked it so much, they decided to move in over a year ago. It was always going to be like my dream home, because it's like, um, I love the water, I, I love Florida. We wake up <laughs> to a dream every day. This dream house features nine bedrooms. The master suite includes a sitting room for her and another for him. A king-size view of the Atlantic, plus walk-in closet for him and a mega walk-in closet for her. 1,500 square feet of high fashion on display. We are in my favorite room in the house, my closet. This feels like one of the nicest clothing boutiques I've ever been in. Thank you. I'm still pinching myself. I cannot believe this is my closet. Ashley's also got her own personal spa. Even the gym's treadmill overlooks the ocean. Just beyond the gleaming wood floors inlaid with Carrara marble, is a sleekly designed sitting room with a $20,000 retro bar cart, handmade by the luxury leather company Moore & Giles. Nearby is a picture of Ed with his boss, billionaire Patron founder John Paul DeGioia, who also presided over the newlyweds' nuptials. Back in 2013, Ed and Ashley bought the mansion for 15 million bucks, then spent three and a half years on a massive renovation. Now they're selling. The asking price, 48.9 million. This house just is incredible. Uh, why are you selling? It's big for two people. I want to just go back to something a little bit smaller and simpler. There's nothing small or simple about the saltwater pool with a rushing waterfall that cost a cool million. And the perfectly manicured lawn that required half a million dollars to install needs no maintenance because every green blade is artificial but you won't believe what's buried underground. So underneath us is my man cave. There's a man cave right underneath our feet? Yes, sir. You gotta show me this. Below the faux lawn, two professional race cars bookend the ultimate bar. A Ferrari 458 that reaches a top speed of 180 miles an hour. And this Le Mans prototype called the LMP2 hits 230. They're each worth millions. Ed and his racing team drove both cars to wins at two of America's top endurance races. Also in the Fantasy Hideaway, one of the CEO's favorite toys, a professional driving simulator worth a hefty 50K. And obviously, the bar is stocked with plenty of Patron, including this bottle bedazzled by rapper Lil Jon and an $8,000 bottle of limited edition tequila served in Lalique Crystal, which Ed believes is the best way to toast this spectacular space. Here's to the house the Patron built. Cheers, thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having us. Behind the gates of this $85 million estate in Beverly Hills that's just been put on the market is a giant mega home once owned by Cher. There's a really cool celebrity history to this property. Cher owned it for many years and is reported to have regretted selling it to Eddie Murphy. The couple who's lived here for almost a decade paid a few million for the celeb's former four-acre residence, but they had much bigger plans for it. 
Through the years, they literally bought every surrounding parcel of land and house. They spent millions to buy out neighbors, bulldoze mansions, and create what is now a massive 16-acre oasis. The 20,000-square-foot main house is undergoing a gut renovation and is still a construction zone. When finished, it will be unrecognizable from the share years. But until then, you can just stay here. The owners spared no expense to add a second palatial mansion on the property intended for guests, right next to the six-figure sunken tennis court and luxurious viewing lounge. The modern Moroccan mega home includes hand-carved wooden doors, meticulously crafted oak coffered ceilings, fine dining for 16, two kitchens, and five regal bedrooms. This guest house is bigger than most people's homes. It's 7,500 square feet of pure luxury. Super broker Aaron Kerman was hired to sell the property, and he's looking for a very wealthy buyer who not only has a love for Moroccan architecture, but also a passion for horses. Because you're looking at the ultimate horse lover's paradise. This is the owner's gorgeous black stallion named Bolero. The long-haired breed is European and one of the most expensive in the world. The owner's majestic mount has had full reign over a fabulous equestrian ring and miles of private trails. The fact that I'm even able to say a ranch in Beverly Hills is unheard of. This horse heaven includes glamorous stables that look more like a Mediterranean mansion with room for five horses. This house is about owning a private park where you could actually ride horses. And in Beverly Hills, that just simply doesn't exist. And while some prospective buyers will certainly be intrigued by the property's celebrity history, Aaron believes the mogul who buys it will be more impressed by its equestrian amenities. Billionaires love horses, their daughters, sons love horses, horse racing. This is what we're betting will sell the property. The crowd gathered at this over-the-top party inside this posh penthouse at the Dream Hotel in New York City is waiting for a very special VIP that's arriving by armored truck. The celebrity here tonight isn't a movie star or a supermodel, it's a pair of sneakers. But what a pair of sneakers they are. We're here to celebrate the world's most expensive sneaker. That's right, this $2,500 cake, all this champagne, and the armed guards wearing bulletproof vests are here for a pair of kicks with a $4 million price tag. It took about six months worth of hard labor. Gerps Rye and his team created the fancy footwear with 350 carats of white diamonds and blue sapphires. There are nearly 1,000 individual stones set in just under a pound of 18 karat gold. The goal was not to create the world's most expensive sneaker. It was to engineer something that could be played on, was practical. You heard him. He hopes whoever coughs up four mil to own them actually wears them too. And he's looking for a multi-millionaire with really big feet. The sneaks are a size 15. If I had to describe the potential buy, it would have to be somebody in the NBA. If sold, a big chunk of change will go to charity. And the blinged out basketball shoes will go down as the most expensive ever sold. 